Hello and welcome again. This video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the links in the description of this video for the full playlist, as well as links to my examples here on GitLab. We're, today we're going to continue, and we're just gonna we're gonna modify imps so that they can fly. Because again, why not? Uh, so let's go ahead and go in. If you go into examples here, you can find a directory called Flying Imps. This is it. This is the code here. It's not very long. It's actually basically uh, the regular imp code, but with a uh, two extra lines in it. So this should be pretty simple, but I'm just gonna show you. If we go back to our default directory here, and we go into extras, actors, this is a list of default settings for uh, all the items in Doom. And we have Doom imps here. We're just going to go ahead and copy uh, the first part of this. We don't care about their fireballs, we're not modifying that. So we just need this first part. And again, I have a Z script file here. You could put all your code in there, but we're going to create a file. Uh, called flyingimps.zsc. I'm going to paste in all that example code. Again, we have to rename this to something that's not being used. We'll say flying imps. And what we'll replace, we're going to replace, we could replace imps, but again, I'm just going to replace the zombie men just because uh, they're at the beginning of the level when you start the game. That way I don't have to go look for imps. Okay, so right now if we were to just run this we're going to go into again we're saying file we're looking at the current directory loading up doom 2 and warping to map 1 and our oh what did i type wrong i do that sometimes it's replaces with an s again we're going to go into doom 2 uh the first map the first map Right away, you see some zombies, but we just replace them with imps. So right away, they look like imps. They're, they're just imps now. They're like any other imp. Let's lower that a little bit. We don't care about sound right now. So those are our imps. They're what are, were our zombies. So now we're going to make some modifications to them. So our flying imps, you can see right here that uh, they clip floor. Let's go ahead, delete that line. And I am going to go back up here to my examples directory. And back into our flying imps here. And actually, what I did, actually, instead of doing showing, just copying it from my code, uh, what we'll do is we'll actually go back into extras, actors, and then we're going to go in here and we're going to find the lost souls, right? Because lost souls fly, right? And we're just going to copy this whole line here with the little plus sign. So we're saying that they float, there's no gravity, uh, they don't fall, and we have all this stuff. So now, if we were to run this code, not all imps, some imps are going to be regular imps, but wherever there was a zombie is going to be our new imps that fly. So right away they should start flying. Uh, I'm actually going to run past these guys because they, see, you can see he's off the floor there. I was going to try to go into here. This would be a better example because these guys are going to start flying at me right away. So we still have one issue though. Let's take them for our IDKFA. Their bodies float. Which we can't have. We can have them floating after they die. So let's go ahead and look at our code again. Uh, so we're going to say Vim. Uh, again, I'm using Vim as my text area. Use whatever text area you want. Uh, so we have all these settings here for that, that allow them to fly. But we're going to come down here to when they die. And for their death, I am going to actually, there's nothing inside the Lost Souls, because Lost Souls actually explode and die when they die. So there's nothing to worry about uh, as far as bodies lying around. But if we come in here, uh, I have this, yes, that's it, it's a gravity, okay? So I am going to take that, and I have notes here. Uh, so I'm going to go in here, and when he dies, I'm just going to type in gravity, a gravity. So. And that's a function, so I, uh, I don't know if I need to put the parentheses here. I did in my example code, but let's go ahead and do that. But basically, that's going to be in the last frame of their death, it's going to apply gravity back to them. So let's get past these guys and just go to where some are flying. But there you go. So they kind of float for a half a second there and then fall. If we want them to fall sooner, we can move that function up. So yeah, I, I added a, uh, in the my original example, I added the parentheses there, but you don't need those. Uh, and of course, you can always click on this link here, which will bring you to the uh, wiki on gravity, which doesn't really tell you much. You just say, uh, add or remove gravity, true or false, right? 
Uh, oh, I guess it does show you a little bit more here. Um, so you have no gravity as a function, low gravity, set gravity, but we're just saying gravity. So up here we're saying they have no gravity. Down here on the last frame of their death, we're saying uh, to add gravity back in. And I didn't make any explode, but it's probably a good idea to add that function here too, in case you shoot them with a rocket launcher, their jibs don't just float in the air there. But that is making a imply. And of course you could do that with uh, any enemy, <laughs> just by adding, again, mainly this line right here this these it's adding in all these variables all these plus signs you can also do minus signs to remove some of these things but we're saying that they float they have no gravity uh missile more i don't know what missile more means uh again i just copied this from the lost souls but of course we could always look it up uh that they don't fall because some 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 i, I want to say i i was originally looking at the uh keiko demon let's go ahead and look at the keiko demon here let's see boom boom We'll go to extras, actors, uh, Keiko Demon, and see, they just have a float, no gravity. And the thing is, they kind of drop down faster. They actually come down to your level where Lasso's kind of float above you. And so originally I was just doing that, and it was kind of sort of working, but you couldn't really see. If they came off a small step, they, they kind of would just go down to the next level. Uh, so copying it from the Lost Souls worked a lot better. Anyway, filmsbychris.com is my website. Chris with the K, there's a link in the description. Check out all the links in the description. I do thank you for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day. Support me. Support me.